Hello everyone. Today we shall look into basic overview of uh, M language. Here I have my Power BI desktop. You could you could click on this transform data and click on transform data. Once I uh, like open the transform data, Power my Power Query editor is uh, visible. You could uh, now now it is an empty Power Power Query editor. I could click on new source and click on new blank query. Okay, this is my blank query. Here I could uh, write. This is my formula bar where I could write similarly to the uh, I could say Excel formula bar. Here, uh, at today I'll uh, explain you about list, record, table, and function. Okay, L let us uh, start with the list. To initiate list, we write equal to use curly brackets and uh, suppose that I want sequence of numbers. I'll write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, once you uh, click on this tick mark, you could see that my list has been prepared. This uh, list is ranging from 1 to 6. Okay, suppose that you don't want uh, the list from 1 to 6 and you want it from 1 to 100. What, I, what you could do is you could uh, even uh, remove this 1 to 6 and instead of uh, like putting comma and the other number put three dots and then you type 100 and then you click on this tick mark okay put two dots and uh, click on this tick mark you could see that my list has been prepared from which is ranging from uh, 1 to 100 this is how we generate sequence of numbers uh, either by using two dots or by putting comma and mentioning the numbers I'll rename the query as list. Okay, if you want to make this into table, you could see this option over on the left, which is like convert to table. You could click on that and even you could convert this into table by selecting OK on this prompt. Now it is converted into table, you could rename the column and you could utilize it. Uh, I could, I would uh, make another blank query. Right click on this empty space, go to new query and click on blank query uh, we have understood about list now we shall uh, try to look into the record okay to write a record i'll write equal to use square brackets okay uh, i'll give one variable as a equal to one this is my one record suppose that i want i, I give b equal to two comma c equal to three and uh, d equal to 4 so this is my uh, like records there are four records which i have provided within square brackets by separating them with a comma i'll click okay i'll click on this you could see that this is a record which has been made by by the by giving the input of these values i could even change it into a table and uh, this is my name and these are my values i would uh, rename it as record this is how we make record in uh, by using this uh, formula bar in this power query again i'll go to new query and uh, take a blank query now i shall uh, i will try to make you understand about this uh, table we have few standard functions where uh, i'll use this table function okay uh, I'll open the parenthesis. Within parenthesis, I'll give the names of the column, like uh, a comma b are uh, two values where I could uh, give it as the uh, names. And uh, suppose that if I want uh, the values for it, I'll uh, put a comma and put curly brackets beside it. Uh, I have to make list of lists, so I'll put another bracket and I'll type one comma two. After the first uh, closure of curly bracket I'll put comma and make another list within the outer list okay I'll put 3 comma 4 so this is how you write a table uh, you know function the list of headers and uh, then the list of lists in values as, as soon as I click ok you could see that my table has been formed with uh, a values respectively 1 comma 3 and b values respectively 2 comma 4 this is how we make a table and I'll uh, try to change it into a table. Okay. 
now uh, i'll try to explain you about the function i'll take the blank query again i'll uh, try to explain about the function uh, i'll write equal to uh, let us use multiple parameters suppose that i have x comma y uh, these are the two parameters which i have taken within the parentheses uh, this operator which we use that equal to greater than it is called goes to operator which helps us uh, um, which helps us to evaluate the respective ex expression here what i want is using xy i want uh, the average of it so i'll write x plus y whole divided by 2 so uh, this is a simple expression where i have written that x y are two parameters it it uh, must uh, help me calculate this value and give the output as i click ok you could see that there are two parameters which are being provided in x suppose that i type 20 in y I suppose that i type 30 and invoke the function once you invoke you could see that uh, my invoke function is uh, show, is shown separately and the value is uh, like 20 plus 30 divided by 2 it is 25 so this is how a function is uh, evaluated and uh, it will help you write multiple expressions over here okay hope hope you understood uh, the list record table and uh, invoked function you could uh, try multiple things uh, suppose that I make a blank query again okay and uh, suppose that you could try you could even try if condition if two greater than one then you could write uh, write pass else you could write fail so this is a simple if condition if uh, this is true then give me pass otherwise give me fail as i click on it you could see the output is pass since the condition is True. Uh, similarly, you could write other expressions as well and uh, uh, play with the formula bar. Uh, this is all for now. Thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video.